Hi everyone, here's a quick tutorial on how to do the big stitch quilting, starting and finishing. I've turned my binding through to the back, so the back is actually longer than the front, and I'm actually going to use a big stitch quilting to tack down my binding. So I've threaded my needle, and it's got the size 8 DMC thread in here, and I'm going to just do a single quilter's knot by wrapping the thread round my needle once, holding onto the threads over the needle and then pulling the, the threads through. And that will just make a nice small knot that won't snag my fabrics, hopefully, when I pop it through the fabric. I'm using pins today because I'm away from home and I normally I'd use binding clips, so I would recommend binding clips. So to start off, I choose a part of my fabric. I try to go fairly close to where the some existing stitches are because I don't want to lump underneath my quilting where the knot is. Just pull through until your knot stops you. And then what I'm going to do is then put my needle through just the top layer of my fabric, close to the needle, give it a pull and the, and the thread then disappears inside with the knot. I don't tend to pull my thread all the way through, I'll just leave it like that. And then what I'll start to do is do a few of my big stitch quilting stitches. Normally I've got my silicone thimble on as well, but I've left that out of the way and my hands are hot. Pull that through. So just pull it through just until it stops. And again, just take a few more stitches. The length of the, the amount of silver needle you see is going to be the amount of thread that you see on top of your quilt. So that's how big your actual stitch is. So this is what it's going to look like. Just do a few more stitches for you so you can see. And I'll finish off close to this one. So I'm just do a few more stitches. Just take that needle up in now, don't need that. As you can see, I don't get too hung up on how long my stitches are, but that's catching down the binding on the back. Okay, so to finish off, I'd then go as if I'm going to take a stitch, but only go through the bat, the quilt top and the batting. Come down underneath my thing, so you can't see my needle on the other side, so I'm between layers. Bring my needle out. Obviously, I'd have a lot less thread than this normally. Wrap my thread round and just do a needle, a knot close to the work. I then need my snips, which I've not got. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'll just show you for example, I'll just snip it off in a minute. And then what I do then is I put my needle through under the top layer so that I can see I'm pulling on the, on the knot. And then I just pull my needle down and that should, if I get my needle in the right place, should pop the not through the work. Oh, it hasn't done yet. Hold on a second. Oh, not through the other side. If you do get a bit of a mark on your fabric, just run your finger over it and it will just through. There you go. The little nice satisfying pop as it goes through. I'd already have trimmed this off and then that would have just gone, disappeared straight into my fabric. So there you go. How to start and how to stop. 